Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Kiana. Welcome back to the KMB Experience. Today I'm going to be filming my first sit down video with you all, and I'm going to be sharing how I became a practicing Muslim and was guided to Islam. So if you're interested in learning about my story, continue watching. <laughs> so my story began um, a long time ago because my father is actually Muslim and my mother is Christian. So I always have been, I've been introduced to Islam and Christianity since I was born. When I was about five to six years old, my parents asked me which religion do I feel more connected to. It has always been Islam, alhamdulillah. Um, since I was little, um, I practice Ramadan with my family, with, with my father. Um, I've always been uh, connected and going to the mosque, but I just was not as practicing. When I was about 20 years old, I transferred to a new school and the story started to unfold. My Islamic journey started to unfold when I transferred to my new school and I discovered the MSA. MSA is the Muslim Student Association. So one day I was walking through the hallway and I stumbled upon the MSA and I knocked on the door and I just I just had the urge to introduce myself. The sisters were so welcoming. And at that time, I was not wearing the hijab and I certainly, certainly was not dressing modest whatsoever. Um, but like I said, I always identified and introduced myself as a Muslim. So that year, I think that was 2018, I was preparing for Ramadan and I really wanted to make, I really, really, really wanted to spend each night of Ramadan. I wanted to spend each and every night of Ramadan at the mosque. In previous Ramadans, um, in, pre in previous Ramadans, I would just, you know, wear what I wear every day and when I go to the mosque, I would change. But because Allah has put this, because that particular year, Allah put that urge in my heart that I wanted to spend every single day, every single night at the mosque, I started naturally dressing more modest because I didn't have time to change what I would normally wear to then go to the mosque. So during that school year, I naturally started dressing more modest because I knew every day after classes, I would go straight to the mosque. So that's how, that's the way that Allah kind of guided me to more modesty. So Alhamdulillah, it was about the 10th day of Ramadan and um, we were in Tawri prayer. And at that time, I did not know an inch of Arabic. I didn't know what the guy was saying, but as you know, when you listen to the Quran, even if you don't know a lick of Arabic, it hits your heart and it hits your soul. So this was about the 10th day of Ramadan. And throughout the whole entire Ramadan, I was at the masjid praying Tawri prayer, fasting every day, alhamdulillah. So I was in Tawri, this is where it kind of all, all, all hit me. I was in Tawri prayer, and this is where I always get emotional. I was in Tawri prayer, and, um, oh my God. <laughs> I know I'm not crying. I know I'm not crying. <laughs> it's just, the story is just so crazy. So I was in Tawri prayer, right? And, um, I don't know what I don't know what the email is saying, but it's just hitting me. It's it's really, 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 really hitting me. Um, whatever story he was, it was hitting my heart, bro. And it was like a law. Oh my god, I don't want to get my the comments messed up. Um it was like a law at the time was like telling me like this is your time to be serious with Islam like I have gifted you with Islam your entire life I, I've always identified as Muslim but I was not practicing and I was definitely definitely in, indulging in things that I should not have been indulging in as a Muslim so during that prayer it was like God was telling me and telling me and telling me like this is your time it is either you're going to be a practicing Muslim or I'm gonna push you out of Islam altogether and I was dying in the like not dying but I was hysterically crying during that prayer it was like Allah was cleaning all my soul from the filth and all of the things that I was indulging in, indulging in um, during my time during my life so I'm in Tawri prayer like just praying this 
dying crying like dying crying literally and um i just knew that that was my time and that was that was the time that you know allah said to me like i really felt allah telling me like it's either you're going to leave this prayer and you're going to start being the muslim that i know you can be or just stop telling people you're muslim and when i left that prayer when i left that prayer when that tower we prayer ended i grabbed my phone bro <laughs> i grabbed my phone and when i say i started texting everyone on my phone that i knew that would not would not benefit the, the journey that I was about to be on. I cut everyone on the same night. I was just texting, look, you can't fly me out. You can't take me shopping. We can't, we can't be whatever you want me us to be. I can't go to Ibiza with you girls. Like everyone that was not going to keep me on the path of Dean was cut or I just let them know like it's either that you're gonna accept this journey that I'm about to be on or you're getting cut off like that was the timing I was on because I knew that feeling that I felt in that prayer was not a joke like Allah really I've spent so many years in my life calling myself a Muslim but not practicing the teachings of Islam and I was really tired and maybe Allah was tired of me being just a Ramadan Muslim he really wanted me to live a Islamic lifestyle 24 7 not just one month out of the year so after that prayer things started really really changing for me i you know i cut a lot of people off that wasn't going to benefit my islamic journey i've started to um really get close to the sisters in my msa and i started to pray my five salahs like to know tomorrow So thank you so much everyone for watching and listening. Um, please like, share, and comment if you have any questions. Um, this was an emotional video to film, but I hope you guys enjoy. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.